Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about another cool feature in reporting which is function fields. It was introduced recently in the Cubic release. Also I have a playlist on my YouTube channel for reporting altogether which has the basics of reporting as well as real life scenarios. The link is provided on the top right corner as well as in description of this video. If you are liking my content please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. First of all the definition, function fields and scripts perform common database transformations and calculations. The functional field generates the value based on computations of other fields and constants. So if you want to display another column in your report and you want it to be calculated based on some formula, maybe your own script and you don't want that field or column to be stored in the database it should be just for reporting purpose so that your database columns are not increased every time you are creating something new then you can use function fields and they are very effective way to actually display some values to create function fields you have to have function field admin role or the admin role so out of the box function field admin is not provided to anyone so admin has to go and give it manually to the users who need it next the advantages which we discussed in definition as well they do not store in database so that's why you can do any database query you can do any calculations they are not stored in database and they are just for displaying on the reports there are some limitations as well which are the advantages also like function fields cannot be audited or indexed because they are not stored in database. Function fields cannot be encrypted again because they are not stored in the database. The last one is you cannot convert functional fields into regular fields or vice versa. Next is the syntax. You have to use glide function then colon and what operation are you trying to do. For example if you want to concatenate or return day of the week or maybe the position in a string length date difference between two dates substrings and there are many more functions as well out of the box some more examples are like add subtract multiply and divide you can take up two values and add them subtract them multiply or divide them as well so there are some functions which take only one parameters and there are some functions which take two parameters or more as well we will see them in the demo the first one is concatenate as you will be aware about basics of concatenate you can concatenate multiple fields and have some strings included in that so for example if you want to display field 1 and then include a colon maybe a hyphen and then display the field 2 let's quickly create a function field in ServiceNow for that I will go to ServiceNow reports and I will create a new report I can say function demo and I will take the example of incident table I will click next and then again next and you notice a button here called configure function field so this is available only to those roles which we discussed in the PPT when I click on this it will ask me to save the report first of all and then you can go ahead and create functional fields now I have to give name of this function field which I am trying to create I can say maybe for concatenation concat demo and the return type should be string and then I can select the operation so we are doing concatenation I'll select concat which is present out of the box and you notice how this syntax came in automatically glide function concat now I have to give the field name here let's concatenate number so that is the incident number I will include a string in between maybe a hyphen and then again comma I can add short description and then I will save this I will go to choose columns I will search for the field which I have created and it's available at the last I will just move it to the right side and I will click OK and then I will save this report and if I scroll to the right you will be able to see this column concat demo and then you can see incident and the short description have been concatenated with each other 
so this happens for all the incidents which are present on this report next is we can calculate the length of a field for example if you want to calculate the length of short description you can just pass the parameter as short description let's quickly see that as well I will go to configure function field again and I will create a new and I can say length demo we will have the return type as whole number then I will use the operation as length and then I have to give the field name as short description I will save this I will go to choose columns again and I will go to the bottom and I will see length demo here I will move it to the right and I will click OK and save this report if I scroll to the right so you are able to see the length of short description for each individual record next is date difference and as the name suggests it will show the difference between the two dates and we have to pass two parameters in this which should be of both date type I will click on configure function field I will click on create and I can name it maybe date diff demo and I will have the return type as duration because it will show me the difference between two dates I will give the operation as date diff and then I will give closed so it will basically show me the difference between the closed date and the open date of that particular incident so the first parameter is closed at the second parameter will be opened at I will click OK and save I will go to choose columns and I will search for date diff demo and I will say OK and save this and you can see the difference between the close time and the open time of these incidents and for the incidents which data is not shown they will be in open state or haven't been closed yet so you can see all of the duration this is a short video of function fields I hope you are clear with the basic concept I hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you